I grew up in a black church, and I think certain aspects of music that were a continual part of the church influenced my own music as a composer. As I started piano lessons and studying my, I guess, unofficial music career, many times I was asked to play the piano in church. One of the things that I'm really thankful for is one of the older members of the church who was the church pianist, she taught me how to play with chords that are much thicker, playing in such a way that it would inspire the singers, the congregation to really sing out in their praise and their times of worship. I applied that in my own music, in chamber music, in a way that really inspires one to reach towards a higher plane, to go beyond just the mundane aspects of this world. I want the music to touch them in such a way that the audiences might be moved to really think about what they have just heard and to examine themselves and want to make good positive changes in their lives and in the lives of others around them. Many of my own works have used traditional forms in classical music, and they may not always deal with current events. But there are those times when events are so momentous, they're so important, it's hard to overlook that. And as an artist or as a composer, I feel that it is my obligation to make my own contribution and my own voice into what is actually happening in society. In 2020, we experienced the COVID-19 pandemic. And along with that, there were protests because of the death of George Floyd. And with all these various events occurring, one thought that I had was one of lamentation. And when Inbal Segev approached me about writing a new work, commenting on the events of 2020, that was the perfect time for me to work on this piece that I had been kind of thinking about in general, and I titled it Echa, which actually comes from the ancient Hebrew, and it means how, literally, or how can this be? Or how did we let this happen? And that's something that I thought would work perfectly with the cello, because I always feel the cello is such a kind of soulful instrument that could really speak to uh, the listener in a very powerful way. Peja, at 89, the piano, if, if that chord can just be, uh, when, the, when you have the C, just a little heavier, we have that da, ba, da, the fortissimo there, just really, ba. so then we have the nice contrast. Yeah, the piano. and maybe we can wait a little so the, for the sound to clear, because I'm afraid it will just get swallowed I didn't wait again, right? Up. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm sorry, I'll um, make it the, since there are only two instruments, I was thinking, how can I apply some density and the experience that I had in the black church growing up? One would hear that, especially after a passage that's quite agitated in the cello, where the cello has these repeated pitches. And as it continues to climb, the piano has a dialogue with the cello, but then the piano's texture includes very thick chords, crashing with accents that kind of give this idea of climax in the density at that moment. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that was gorgeous. That worked very nicely. That was very good. Echa moves from a moment of singing, agitation, 
And then there's this moment near the end of the piece where the piano has this repetitive figure that almost has bell tones. And as it continues, the cello starts to sing above that. It just continues to climb in this kind of desperation, seeking after hope. The challenge in taking on a subject matter, talking about a lamentation or lamenting, is the aspect of providing a solution. We as composers may not always have the solutions, but we can have suggestions on what perhaps might be one, but then the listener can listen to clues in the way the music actually ends. When we arrive at the end of Echa, not only do we have a sense that there's some responsibility that we might have, but also there is an aspect of hope that I try to achieve, to make what almost sounds dark and haunting to really have moments of light and hope at the end. The Chamber Music Society thanks you for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support.